Hi, my name is Xander Hodgson and this is Collecting 101 with Moosh Gallery. We have two lovely pieces here which we're going to be delivering to a client tomorrow, but while we have them here I thought I'd talk you through the artist Melvin Sokolsky. So this picture right here is called Over New York. It's a really important piece actually in the Melvin Sokolsky collection because it was the beginnings of the Bubble series which we've come to know. So Sokolsky actually created this bubble of glass that a model had to be able to stand inside of for a long period of time suspended above something and she had to be able to move and pose and engage with the camera. The bubble collection was greatly influenced by the work of Hieronymus Bosch and the Garden of Earthly Delights. His surreal paintings often depicted people in an entire world contained in crystal globes. In the collection, the bubbles are always depicted either above the ground or floating above the water, barely gracing the surface. The bubbles elevated the fashion and the models to an unattainable position, almost ethereal when contrasted with the ordinary surroundings of the cities. After Diana Vreeland saw the first test shoot over New York, Diana was so impressed by the shoot, she made Melvin the photographer for the entire issue. The first time that was ever done for Harper's Bazaar magazine. So they booked the job, they got their models, they got the bubble, the whole team together, and they flew to Paris. This piece right here is called In Trees. It was shot in the Bois de Boulogne. And if you come in a bit closer, guys, I'm going to show you some of what's kind of mesmerizing about it still to this day. You can see like her shawl reflected here and the trees and the depth of the trees too. And remember, this was all shot on film, on analog, way back in the day. At the time, one of the biggest photographers was Richard Avedon. Even Melvin really looked up to Richard. And he was whispering to, in Diana Vreeland's ear, this kid is never gonna get this off the ground. And look at it, 60 years later, Melvin's prints are going ranging from 30,000 to 150,000. This piece that we have right here is a 50 by 50 inch size. This is the largest that you can get this print. There are some other sizes available. You can DM me or message me if you're interested. And I just forgot, we should show you what actually made it to the cover of Harper's Bazaar. So this was the shot that was chosen as the cover and you can kind of tell why. It's so classic. But anyway, we can return to this next time. If you are interested in any of the pieces that you've seen today, you can DM me or email me. Until next time, guys. <laughs>